Hello everyone. Um, my name is Tammy. Welcome to my studio. Today I thought, um, well I just finished up my fairy journal project and I thought it would be fun to uh, start a glue book. Um, I've seen a few uh, bookmakers, junk journalers uh, use this and I thought I would uh, do that. Sorry, I'm distracted. I were here. I was looking for my wipes. Um, we got this. Actually, this was um, stored away on a bookcase in my house um, when I was. My husband was going through some. Um, he wants to change the bookcase and use it for something else, and so. Um, forgot I even had it. It's uh, something that I used with um, actually my daughter um, from the time she was <laughs> a little girl. Um, she's been interested in cooking and baking. And so um, I had this Betty Crocker kids cookbook that I got for her. Um, I also homeschooled my kids when they were in grade school and um, so we use this book a lot so um, no grandkids in sight um, which I'm totally fine with and so I thought you know what I'm not I'm gonna stop holding on to it it's perfect for a glue book um, so that's what I'm gonna use it for um, and you know if I have grandkids sometime down the road, I will buy another one. I don't think if there's any pages with notes or anything that my daughter might have written on, I will um, probably take that out um, or at least at the very least make a copy of it. Um, so um, because I don't have a ton of tiny scraps. Um, but that's what I I pulled out here is just the really small scraps, the bigger scraps that I know I can use in other projects. Um, I put those in my bigger scrap bin. So I, I'm just going to get started. Um, yeah, so I love this idea of the glue book. Um, I also love collaging. I also uh, like to make, um, I love to have these collage, well these will be pages, but boards, um, whatever you want to call them, to make um, ephemera with. I love how they look. I love I love that it's that it's unique and you know it's basically my own creation from scraps that I have um, I don't have to worry about copyright which I don't really at this point in my scrapbooking or not scrapbooking <laughs> journaling um, career I'm not super worried about because I'm not selling anything at this moment but um, but I might want to and I think that it's um, I think it's good to have some of your own some of your own things that you've made um, so yeah so um, yeah, I was just thinking as I was talking that I could make um, copies of these, um, which I have before, uh, made copies of the um, collage boards and things that I've made um, and use them also to collage with and make ephemera with. And I really, I like that. Um, I love that whole idea. Uh, of of using my own creations so yeah so it's um 
it is the weekend. I am going to spend as much time as I can in my studio. It um, It is in need of um, cleaning and just putting stuff away. It's amazing how uh, messy things get when you're working on a project. <laughs> Like, wow, I have stuff piled everywhere. Um, so the exciting thing is I'm going to get it all cleaned up. I already have items pulled out for uh, my next journal that I'm going to make. And so I hope to film a um, just kind of an introductory, introductory uh, video kind of showing some of the um, ephemera papers, um, book pages that I got from a used bookstore uh, or the thrift store actually. Um, and so I'm kind of, I'm excited to introduce you all to that. Um, it's gonna be kind of a naturey celestial, um, like a hybrid, <clears throat> a hybrid type of journal. Um, pretty excited about it. I don't know if it's going to maybe swing one way or the other. It might. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll have to see. We'll have to see where it goes. Um, I did buy, I, I did buy one paper pack. It's a uh, Stamperia, so I'll show that to you in the video that I do. Um, and I've been, uh, I ordered some things from a couple of shops on Etsy um, that I will also show when, when the items come. I ordered some, um, not stamping stamps, but like postage type stamps uh, for for decorating um, they're like flowers and mushrooms and I ordered one other one I can't remember what it was um, and another thing about um, me that I haven't really talked about is I'm I'm I do I'm not like freaky freaky about saving the environment but I am very conscious of it and I try very hard to um, purchase, purchase things from people who live in, in my state or very close, close to, so Oregon, Washington, Idaho, and, um, and support small businesses in the state that I live. And so, and <laughs> on top of that, the, the artists that I keep hearing recommended, who who make some things that I want to use um, are they're highly sought after and uh, because they get mentioned you know by by Gail or um, Roxy and I or Rachel sorry at Roxy creates uh, Roxy creations and so and I'm slightly impatient so um, so yeah so I feel good about that I feel good about supporting um, unknown creators who live in my state um, plus this plus the items come really fast which is also a plus um, and again like I said just supporting it it it's much um, it leaves a, a, the, the carbon footprint is much smaller um, because if I order from the 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 side of the state that I live on, um, you know, it doesn't have to go very far. And I have found a lot of very interesting um, Etsy artists um, who who live in in my state, uh, you know, close by. So I I am by all means going to um, support them. Uh, that said, I have purchased from, um, 
you know, some of my favorite YouTubers, um, um, Charlotte Peterson, she, but uh, she's in Arizona, so not too far. And I have also ordered from um, Martha Managros, who um, I think I think she's all the way on the East Coast, um, but she makes those wonderful um, ephemera. Uh, I don't know what they're officially called, but they're the ephemera books that you can put your um, you can put uh, you know your ephemera in to get, to get it organized in all in one place. And uh, I love 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 mine. So. So yeah, so there, I mean, I realize there are times, and like I said, I'm not like super fanatical about it, but I am conscious of it, and I try very hard to um, buy local. It's just kind of something that I've committed to, uh, and it, it makes me, you know, it makes me feel good. It's, to me, it's part of uh, being, you know, a, a part of the community in which you live. Um, Pre-COVID, I did like to go to um, like Saturday markets. And even during COVID, my daughter and I have gone a couple of times, all masked, masked, masked up and they are outside. So that's also a plus. Um, so yeah, so I do like to do that. Um, Yeah, I try. I try. I try to do what I can, but I know it's. I know it's not possible for all of us. I I totally get that. Um, so anyway, long story short, I have these items coming. I remembered what the other items are. I ordered some, like, uh, paper, um, decorated paper cutout flowers. Um, so I ordered some of those. Because uh, I would really like to use those in in my next journal, if possible. Uh, I also ordered, um, actually I ordered these from, um, I think I ordered them from Amazon. They're um, just plain paper flowers. Because I like to, I also like to decorate my own. But I, I used up all the paper flowers that I had, which is to me, kind of the heart of um, junk journaling is using up what you have. So uh, I did that and, and used those up. And now I, I want to make some more. So uh, I just ordered, like I said, a pack of, they're just plain white. And I like the white because I can, I can spray them, you know, with some, some ink. Um, or coffee dye them, or tea dye them, or uh, yeah, whatever. So, pretty excited about that. And when I'm done here, I'm going to do the um, Roxy's Weekly Challenge number 11, I believe it is. I'm making the, the envelopes. Um, so there we go. There's one page done. And then I was thinking I could put, um, oh, I'll probably just leave it, uh, for right now. I was thinking I have some, um, what do you call it? Composition notebooks that are, um, that I could tear some pages out and put them on the back, but I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. So my husband and I just finished watching on Netflix, um, Wild Wild Country. It is about the the Roshnish um, 
commune that uh, took over a town in Central Oregon and um, and just the havoc that it it you know that poor little town um, was just inundated with thousands of people and they bought up a bunch of land and um, it was really fascinating so um, if you like doc documentaries and you're fascinated I'm I'm just very fascinated with the human mind um, not that it really gets into the answers of the human mind but boy um, it's just very interesting to see um, you know how people respond to just to the way they're treated and you know they were they were treated very well um, However, the question remains if they were being manipulated or not. It's hard to know. Um, I, I couldn't tell one way or the other, really. Um, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to bring up a whole political discussion about it. Uh, I just thought it was fascinating. And I am fascinated with people's, um, you know, what makes people tick. Um, I'm kind of a fan of the, the documentaries on, you know, like serial killers and, and, you know, people who do just crazy outrageous things that, um, most people would not even think about doing. And I'm really fascinated with that. So anyway, we finished that up last night. It was really good. And we also started the, um, new... Disney Marvel series now that WandaVision is over uh, which we really really liked WandaVision um, I am a huge fan I'm one of those crazy women that actually loves um, action movies and so uh, I've seen all of the um, Avengers all those um not just the Avengers movies, but all the standalone movies for all of the comic book characters. And, um, yeah, so we wa we started watching uh, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. That's the new Disney, Disney series based on the, um, based on the Marvel, the Marvel um, comics. So it was very good enjoyed it uh i've also been watching um i'm really really slow to the game but i've been watching downton abbey um loving it it's very fun um <laughs> again it's it's so fascinating to watch different um cultures and different times and you know how how they behaved and um, really enjoying it. Um, I just, I'm in season three, I believe. <clears throat> and yeah, something very sad just happened. So it was like, oh, this is terrible. Um, I'm not going to say, I mean, I, I realize Downtown Abbey has been out for years, but if you're just hearing about it for the first time <laughs> and you want to go check it out, I don't want to give anything away. Um, so, yeah, so I'm really enjoying that. Um, let's see what else is going on. Um, my mom is, uh, still having a lot of, um, uh, memory issues and just confusion, uh, Yesterday she came up and just wanted to chat about um, uh, just how much she misses her parents. And she, you know, she was crying and sad and, um, you know, her parents have been dead for a lot of years. Um, 
and she's just she's she was doing a I miss my mom and then she's also um, saying how she misses her friends and seeing people and she doesn't understand why she can't go out and go shopping so I had to remind her again about the virus and then she's like oh yeah because I told her I said you know mom I miss my friends too <laughs> I haven't seen my friends in a really long time and so um, we we communicate with our kids um, regularly uh, we were doing zoom but we all just got this new program um, on our computers called Discord. Well, it's not an, it's new to us. It's, I don't think it's a new, necessarily a new program, but it's called Discord. And it's really nice because I can just, from my computer, so I, I was, I, well, my mom came up to have a chat with me yesterday. Um, she, I had my computer because I was editing a video and um so i just called my daughter uh on discord and she got to see um her granddaughter and uh she was so thrilled uh and so that kind of that made my day and she was she we laughed and she just kept telling my daughter how pretty she is and um yeah so it was nice uh, and my daughter, you know, she knows everything that we're going through with, with her. Um, my parents live, we all live in the same house, but they live in the apartment, um, in the apartment down below us. Um, we live in the main house and then there's a separate, uh, it's a pretty big 1200 square foot apartment that they live in. And so, um, so, and we did that because, um, my brother died many years ago. And so I'm the only one to take care of them. And I, I didn't want, we were planning to kind of move a little further out, um, from where we used to live and, it just kind of all came together that we decided to uh, purchase this house out, out here where they could live with us. My dad, he didn't really have any long-term care plans for him and my mom. Um, so, so this seemed the best thing. So luckily I'm working from home and I can, I can help care for them pretty easily. So look at this, I'm down to the end of my scraps. Um, pretty exciting. I'm gonna fill in some spots here and there.
Okay. One more piece. And I'm calling it done. So, got um, ooh, two pages done. And this is all the scraps I have left. So, that was pretty good. Um, pretty excited about that. Um, we have my... Oh, I'll get some wax paper and put between these pages so they don't stick together. But I have this one and then this one. This one's kind of a hot mess, but um, I can have fun playing around with it. And... Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching and, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.